This is a 1.7 diesel engine from Hyundai's U engine lineup. This engine features chain-driven dual overhead camshaft with four valves per cylinder, common rail direct injection, and variable geometric turbocharger. If we look at the chart, it produces max horsepower of 139 at 4000 RPM, max torque of 340 Nm at 2500 RPM, and it consumes about 20 km per liter of fuel in combined. You can find this engine from Hyundai's i40, Tucson, Kia Optima, Sportage, and Karens. Such great fuel economy and powerful low-ended torque. People loved or still love diesel engines. Although we are aware of the diesel engine produces high emission, demand for a diesel engine is still high in many countries, especially where the cost of diesel fuel is relatively cheaper than gasoline. In today's tech tip video, we are not going to talk about how good and bad the diesel engine is. What we're going to talk about is the most common problem in diesel engine, which is carbon buildup caused by exhaust gas recirculation system. The main purpose of the EGR system is to reduce the oxides of nitrogen formed during combustion process. NOx is one of the main pollutants from engines and it is well known to cause human health problems. NOx is created when the combustion temperature reaches above 1300 degrees of Celsius, or about 2400 degrees of Fahrenheit. EGR's mission is to reduce combustion temperature by recirculating the exhaust gas back into the intake manifold. However, when combined with oil vapor from a positive crankcase ventilation system, or blow-by gas, it can cause carbon buildup and the intake manifold and valves or it can cause the EGR valve stuck closed or stuck open. When the engine is started, the valve should stay closed. As we speed up and the engine reaches its normal operating temperature, the valve should gradually open. If we slow down or stop, the valve should gradually close. If you notice a rough idle or increased fuel consumption from your diesel car, you might want to take a look at the EGR valve. If the valve is stuck open, it can cause a stalling when the engine idles. If the valve is constantly open, it can cause a rough idle. If the valve is stuck closed, it can cause engine knocking due to high combustion temperature and detonation. We are going to remove the EGR valve from 2016 Kia Karens and clean it with a special steam cleaner. Also, we are going to use a scan tool to compare the data before and after cleaning. We would like to give a special thanks to Nebakui for helping us to make this video. Before we clean the parts, let's connect the scan tool and take a look at some data. Select Diagnosis. Select Kia. Select Data Analysis, Engine, select Air Mass per Cylinder, and search for Engine Speed and EGR Actuator Duty. As we increase the engine RPM, EGR valve should be opened and air going into the chamber must be decreased until the valve closes. But here we can see the air is not decreasing while the valve is opened. There is a chance that the sticky carbon sludge is preventing the valve to open. Let's check again later after cleaning. We noticed excessive blow-by gas from the oil can. So we decided to inspect the injector washer at the same time and clean up the whole intake system. First, remove the return hose from the injector. It is always a good idea to mark the component before removal. We want every part back in the original place. You know how it feels when a couple of bolts are left after reassembly. No! God, please, no!
remove the intake manifold. We're sorry if you are eating dinner as you are watching this video, but here is a suit buildup we talked earlier. Remove the air filter housing. This oil is probably from blow by gas. We know we should have removed the battery first. Remove the EGR assembly. Disassemble the throttle body. Again, we're sorry if you are having a delicious meal. You should stop eating by now. Let's disassemble all the parts so that we can clean them thoroughly. Remove the sensors too. We don't want to damage them. Let's begin with solvent wash tank. This is just a gentle shower. Master Tech here in Navaqui wants to show us steam cleaning with cleaning chemical. Let's see how the steam over 100 degrees of Celsius cleans the parts.
예쁘다 진짜 어? 어, 진짜 와. This is pretty clean. Using some cleaning spray and airbrush to clean the intake airboards. again with vacuum. Reassemble everything. Reinstall the intake manifold. Here are washers from injectors. Left is old and right is new. Let's replace them. Assemble everything. When everything is back in place, start the engine. Feels like the engine noise is much smoother. Let's connect the scan tool and see if we can find improvement. As we wrap the engine, EGR kicks in. We can see steady low air while the EGR valve is open. 
Let's open up the gas cap and see if the replaced washer improves the blow by gas. It looks like the cleaning job was well performed. If you are still watching, we highly appreciate for your time and we hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know any information related to diagnostics, please leave a comment below and we will consider really hard to make a next video about it. If you like the video, hit the like button and if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button as well. This was Jason from EasyDS and as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.